A waiting list page is a good way to collect leads for a new product, service, or website. You can then send customers an email when you begin selling and bring them back to your site to place an order. In this video, I'll show you how to create a waitlist landing page to increase conversion rates step-by-step -step in WordPress by using Seedprod. Seedprod is the best drag-and-drop WordPress website builder. Join over 1 million plus professionals who use Seedprod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts without coding. Let's get started. So here I have a completely clean installation of WordPress. WordPress on my computer and we're going to go ahead and install Seedprod. So you can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And I'm going to be using the pro version in this video. So you can click on get Seedprod here and select the account that makes the most sense for you. And then click on login once you have an account. Here on the left hand side, I'm going to enter the email, password and login. Next, we're going to click on the downloads tab here at the top. It's the second one from the left. And here we can see the big button to download Seedprod. Let's go ahead and click this. And we'll also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click the little icon here to copy that to clipboard. And we can go ahead and close this tab. Back inside WordPress, let's go over to plugins and add new. And up top, we have upload plugin. Let's click on this. And you can choose the zip file that we just downloaded. Or if you're using a similar browser or the same, you can click and drag this and drop it right here and click install now. Next, let's go ahead and click the activate plugin button. And let's paste that license key right here and click verify key. You should see a green success message here in the top right corner. You can close this tab at the bottom if you have it. So next we wanna go ahead and create the pre-launch landing page. So on the left hand side, we have landing pages and theme builder. This is where you can create full WordPress themes for your whole website. We wanna to go to landing pages in this video and we'll see two main sections here. Up top, we have these four options. And down below we have landing pages. So you can create all different types of landing pages. So at the top we have coming soon mode. We have maintenance mode. We have a login page where you can create a custom login page. And we have a 404 page. What we want to do is create a new landing page here. So we have the add new landing page button. Let's go ahead and click this. And next Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. And here you can filter all of these. You can start with a blank template, but Seedprod also comes with all of these pre-made professionally designed and mobile friendly landing pages that you can import instantly. So you just hover over it. You can preview it, or you can click the orange button here to import that into your website. So let's come down. We'll select one here. Here's one called city coming soon page. Let's go ahead and we'll click the orange button here and we can give it a page name. I'll just call this waiting list. You can call yours, whatever makes sense and you'll notice that the url here updates as well this will be the location of your landing page let's go ahead and save and start editing the page excellent now we're inside the seed prod landing page builder so on the left hand side we have our blocks these are the different elements on your page that you can drag in so here is a headline we can just grab that and click and drop it. And now we have a headline block here. Now each block that you drop in, you can simply click the settings tab here. And on the left hand side, the settings will change specifically for that headline. So you'll see it says editing, the headline, the content, and then we have an advanced tab for this specific block. We can go ahead and delete this if we wish. And we have other blocks here as well. So if I click video and then click settings, you can see that all of these settings are different based on what type of block it is. We also have some other icons here on top of the block. So we have a save block. So you can customize block and then save that version of it and use it in other places on your landing page. We have the duplicate. So if you want another one, you can just simply duplicate it. You can move it with this little icon here if you want to put one above or below it. And you can also delete this. I'll go ahead and delete this one as well. We also have sections here. These are different than blocks. These are actually pre-built areas of a website that you can just click and import directly into your page. So you can see there's all different types here and they're categorized here on the left hand side by header, hero, call to action, FAQ, features, footer, etc. So you can go through these if you want to add a specific section. So we have like these blank default ones that don't really have any styles. And then if you come down, there's ones that have more images and coloring on them if you want to put those in. But you can customize all of them fully and change how they look after you import them. So let's come back to blocks here. And here, this is the actual page that we're looking at. The purple is actually the section. So we have a big section here. Anything that's blue is a row or a column. So this is a row and it actually has one column inside of it. So this is the row settings right here. And on the right side, we have the column settings. Now, if there was another column, you'd see it here and you would have this little cog wheel on this corner of that as well for that specific column. We also on the bottom left here have the layout navigator, and this makes it easier to traverse your page if you get a little bit lost or if you find it difficult to move on certain blocks or anything. 
But here you can move all of your blocks, your columns, your rows, your sections. You can see everything in a nice hierarchy here. So let's go ahead and close this for now. So the first thing you want to do is click and customize your page. So let's do that with the headline here. So I'll just update the text here. So join our waiting list to be notified. And we have some options here, some alignment, and we have font size. So I can make this bigger or smaller. I think I'll actually make it bigger. Something like this looks fine to me. Let's do 55. And down here we have the levels for H1 through to H6. Is, these are your headings, and it's just mainly used for semantics on landing pages. Let's go under the advanced tab here. Here we have topography, so we can edit this and change the font. So if I just pick a random one here, you can see that, that updates the header here. I'll just use the default one for now, which is set in our global settings. Let's just save this page while we have it. And on the bottom left, if we click the cogwheel here, we have global settings for the fonts, the colors, the background, and some custom CSS if you want to add, enter that in there. So under fonts, for example, we're using Enter, and for the body text, Helvetica New. So we could change this to a different font for our header, as you can see. And that'll update every single header that we have on our page. And same thing for the body text here. To get back to the blocks, you can click the icon up here on the top left. This will bring us back. So let's go ahead and continue to modify our page. I'm going to select this text here. And you can update the text, change it, the font size. Maybe I'll make this actually a little bit bigger. And I'll change the font color here. Maybe something will go with the red or the orange there. And the other major one is the background. So I think that was under global settings here under background. You can see a background image. So we can delete this. You could just use a page color if you want. You can change that in here. I'll leave that to white and you can upload your own image. Maybe you have your own PNG that you could use on the background, which we saw on the default template, or you can use a stock image. And this comes with Cprod built in as well. I'll just do a search for food and maybe something nice and clean and easy. We have one here with lemons that goes all behind it. Great. Now the red doesn't really match in my opinion. So we could come back to our colors. And we have color palettes here. So you could change the header, text, buttons, links, and background. Now you can change each one individually. If you click on color palettes, we have these preset colors that you can just click on one. Let's go with maybe green. And I think that looks good. Now this text didn't update it because we changed it on the block level. And this will actually override your settings in the global settings. So if we go to advanced color, we can come back here to change this color here. So I'll just go back to maybe that gray color. I actually think that looks really nice. Excellent. Let's go back and let's maybe put a timer or a counter here. This will give a sense of urgency to make people sign up to your email list. Let's click the settings here and you have lots of different options here. The countdown type. This is an evergreen one. So this counts down based on when the person visit your page or you can put an actual specific time. Let's use the evergreen one and we'll say, you know, uh, let's put 10 minutes and then you can see that they have 10 minutes to sign up to whatever special or deal or email list or whatever you're creating here. You have the size, so you can make it large, small, whatever you wish. I kind of like the small to medium. And after this timer runs out, there's an action here. So you can show a message, you can redirect them, or it can just restart if you like. So maybe you want to redirect them to another page after the timer goes down or show a message here. You can also customize the labels. So we have days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Now keep in mind, this is available for every block. You have all of these different options based on what type of block it is and the options that it offers. So here's some templates and you can instantly change the style there. So I'll use the circles here. And then under the advanced, you have all of the style spacing attributes and device visibility. Next, we have the email here. Let's go ahead and we can customize what this looks like. You can show the name here if you want to collect that. We also have the size here. So we have small, medium, and large. I think I'll go with large, the alignment. Here we have the button text, so you can change what it says here. We have the width of it, the font size, background color, and down here we have the success action, so you can show a message or you can redirect the user. Up here we have templates, you can change how this looks, and under advanced we have different options for the form, fields, button, spacing, etc. Lots to do there. At the bottom here, you also have some social links here. You can fully customize these, which ones you want to show. You can add or remove them. And when you click on them, you can edit where those go. So if you want Facebook, you can throw your Facebook page in here. You have the style, the size, alignment, templates of those, and advanced options as well. So next, we want to connect your email list. So how we can do that, if you look up at the top left here for the email list, now that we have a form in here for people to opt in, we can actually connect to your favorite third party email marketing service. So for example, if you're using constant contact, you can click here to connect and connect new account. And here it'll ask for the API key. Now you would get this from constant contact or whichever service you're using. If you need help for that, they usually have documentation showing you where to get this API key 
or contact their support and they'll tell you where to get that. You'll just grab that key and you'll paste it in here. You can give it an optional name here and click connect. And now every email that signs up will be dealt with with constant contact where you can manage your email list. Here we have a third tab called page settings. So we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. Under general, we have the page title. We already filled this stuff out earlier. We have the page status. So right now the page that we're creating is in draft mode. So you can publish it here. Or when we're done, we can just drop down here and click publish. You can show a, a powered by seed prod link here on the toggle for seed prod link. And you can also enter our affiliate program and enter a link down here to get a 20% commission on all sales. Down here, we have isolation mode. This will help prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins if there are any. If you're using any Facebook options, we have Facebook app ID down here, which you can paste in. Under SEO, we highly, highly recommend that you use all-in-one SEO, which is a fantastic search engine optimization plugin. And for analytics, Monster Insights for all of your analytics needs. And then lastly, we have scripts here. So you can paste different scripts into your header, your body, or your footer, and custom domain. So you can actually have your landing page URL, this URL right here. You can actually point that to a domain name here. So you can turn that on, put in the domain name and follow the instructions, force HTTPS. And there's some more information here if you want to learn how to do that. All right, so if we just look at our page one more time, you can add whatever you wish here. If you want to add more to the page, you can go ahead and do that. Once you're happy, let's go ahead and save this. We'll go ahead and publish the page. Here we can click on see live page. And there you go, it looks great. Congratulations, you now know how to create a successful waitlist landing page in WordPress by using Seedprod. Now that you know how to create a successful waitlist landing page, maybe you would be interested in how to create a blog page on WordPress using Seedprod's drag and drop theme builder to fully customize it however you wish. Or check out this video on how to activate WooCommerce blocks in Seedprod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.